Welcome to today's exploration of one of the most fascinating discoveries in paleoanthropology. In 2019, scientists announced something extraordinary, a previously unknown species of ancient human that lived on a remote island in the Philippines tens of thousands of years ago. This species, named Homo luzonensis, has fundamentally changed our understanding of human evolution and migration. Today, we're going to dive deep into this remarkable discovery, explore what makes this species so unique, and discuss what it tells us about the diversity of our human family tree. The setting, Luzon Island. Before we discuss the discovery itself, let's talk about where this species was found. Luzon is the largest island in the Philippines, located in Southeast Asia. Today, it's a vibrant place with bustling cities and diverse ecosystems. But 50,000 to 67,000 years ago, during the time when Homo luzonensis lived, it would have been a very different world. And trust me, by the end of the video, you're going to question everything you thought you about our ancestors. Our goal on this video is 500 likes and subscribe the channel, turn on bell notification and comment your biggest question from this video. The Omi TR with most likes will make a dedicated video answering it. During the Pleistocene epoch, sea levels were lower due to water being locked up in glaciers during ice ages. However, even with lower sea levels, Luzon has always been an island, separated from the Asian mainland by significant stretches of ocean. This geographical isolation is crucial to our story because it means that somehow these ancient humans managed to cross open water to reach this remote location. The specific site where Homo luzonensis was discovered is Kalao Cave, located in the northern part of Luzon in Cagayan province. This limestone cave system has been known to locals for generations, but it wasn't until archaeologists began systematic excavations that its true significance became apparent. The story of Homo luzonensis actually begins much earlier than the 2019 announcement. In 2007, archaeologist Amal Salvador Mijares from the University of the Philippines was leading excavations in Kalao Cave when his team made an intriguing discovery, a single foot bone, specifically a third metatarsal, dating back approximately 67,000 years. This bone was peculiar it showed a mixture of features that didn't quite match modern humans or any other known hominin species. However, a single foot bone wasn't enough to declare a new species. The team needed more evidence, so they continued their painstaking work, carefully sifting through layers of sediment in the cave. It took more than a decade, but in 2011 and 2015, the team made additional discoveries. They found more bones and teeth, seven teeth, two hand bones, three foot bones, and a partial femur. These remains came from at least three different individuals, two adults and one juvenile, all dating to between 50,000 and 67,000 years ago. What made these remains so special was their unique combination of features. Some characteristics were surprisingly primitive, resembling much older human ancestors, while others were more modern. This mosaic of traits suggested that the team had found something entirely new to science. After years of careful analysis, in April 2019, the international team, led by Florent Détroit, from the National Museum of Natural History in Paris, along with Michares and other colleagues, published their findings in the prestigious journal Nature. 
they had discovered a new species of ancient human, Homo luzonensis. What makes Homo luzonensis unique? Now let's explore what makes Homo luzonensis so remarkable. The fossil evidence, while fragmentary, tells us a fascinating story about this species. First, let's talk about size. Based on the teeth and bones recovered, scientists estimate that Homo luzonensis was quite small, possibly standing only about four feet tall. This small stature is interesting because island dwarfism is a well-known evolutionary phenomenon where species isolated on islands tend to evolve smaller body sizes over time, often due to limited resources. The teeth of Homo luzonensis are particularly intriguing. They're quite small, even smaller than those of modern humans, but they have a unique shape. The premolars have unusual features that aren't seen in other Homo species. Some of the molars have only two or three roots instead of the typical three roots found in modern human molars. This is a primitive characteristic, more similar to teeth found in much older human ancestors. The hand and foot bones are perhaps the most puzzling features. The finger bones are curved, a trait typically associated with tree-climbing primates and very ancient human ancestors like Australopithecus. This suggests that Homo luzonensis may have still spent time in trees, which would be unusual for a member of the genus Homo from this relatively recent time period. The foot bones are equally mysterious. The third metatarsal, that first bone discovered in 2007, has characteristics seen in Australopithecines who lived millions of years earlier. Yet the big toe bone suggests a creature that walked upright on two legs like modern humans. This combination of primitive and derived traits makes Homo luzonensis a genuine evolutionary puzzle. It appears to be a mosaic species with different parts of its body retaining ancient features while others show more modern adaptations. The bigger picture, human diversity in Asia. The discovery of Homo luzonensis is part of a larger revolution in our understanding of human evolution, particularly in Asia and the Pacific. For many years, the story of human evolution was thought to be relatively simple, a linear progression from primitive ancestors in Africa to modern humans who then spread around the world. However, discoveries over the past two decades have revealed that the real story is far more complex. Multiple species of humans coexisted, sometimes in the same regions, and human evolution was more like a branching bush than a straight line. Just a few years before the discovery of Homo luzonensis, scientists announced another remarkable find, Homo floresiensis, nicknamed the Hobbit, discovered on the Indonesian island of Flores. This species, which lived until about 50,000 years ago, was also remarkably small and showed a unique combination of features. The discovery of Homo floresiensis was controversial at first, but is now widely accepted. The presence of both Homo floresiensis and Homo luzonensis on separate Southeast Asian islands during roughly the same time period suggests that this region was home to unexpected diversity in the human family tree. These discoveries tell us that island Southeast Asia was not a backwater in human evolution, but rather a dynamic region where unique evolutionary experiments were taking place. We also know that other human species existed in Asia during this time. Homo erectus, one of our older ancestors, persisted in some parts of Asia much longer than previously thought. The Denisovans, known primarily from DNA evidence and a few fragmentary fossils, were present in Siberia and possibly Southeast Asia. 
And of course, modern Homo sapiens began spreading out of Africa and into Asia during this same general time frame. This means that during the time Homo luzonensis was living on Luzon, there were potentially four, five, or even more distinct human species alive on Earth, often sharing the same general regions. The mystery of arrival. One of the biggest questions surrounding Homo luzonensis is, how did they get to Luzon in the first place? As mentioned earlier, Luzon has been an island for millions of years, even during the ice ages when sea levels dropped significantly, there was no land bridge connecting Luzon to mainland Asia. Any hominin reaching the island would have had to cross significant stretches of open water. This raises fascinating questions about the cognitive and technological capabilities of early humans. For a long time, scientists believed that only modern Homo sapiens had the intelligence and technology to intentionally cross ocean waters. The ability to build boats or rafts and navigate across water was thought to be a relatively recent innovation in human history. However, the presence of Homo luzonensis on Luzon 67,000 years ago and Homo floresiensis on Flores perhaps a million years ago challenges these assumptions. Either these ancient humans had more sophisticated seafaring abilities than we previously believed, or they reached these islands through accidental dispersal events, perhaps swept out to sea on natural rafts of vegetation during storms or tsunamis. Some scientists lean toward the accidental dispersal theory, suggesting that over hundreds of thousands of years Rare events of hominins being swept to sea and surviving the journey could account for island populations. Others argue that the evidence suggests more intentional voyaging, perhaps using simple rafts or boats. The debate continues, but what's clear is that ancient humans were capable of reaching remote islands much earlier than we once thought possible. And this has profound implications for understanding human cognition, behavior, and adaptability. Who were the ancestors of Homo luzonensis? Another major mystery is, where did Homo luzonensis come from? Who were its ancestors? Scientists have proposed several possibilities. One hypothesis is that Homo luzonensis descended from Homo erectus, the widespread and long-lived human species that first left Africa nearly two million years ago. Homo erectus fossils have been found throughout Asia, and it's possible that a population of Homo erectus reached Luzon and then evolved in isolation into Homo luzonensis. The small body size and some of the primitive features could be explained by island evolution.